please welcome Attorney General Eric Schneiderman. All right, now that my client has gotten you riled up. <laughs> uh, thank you, good afternoon, everyone. I am Eric Schneiderman. I am your lawyer. And I can't tell you how good you look out here uh, today. The unity in, among New Yorkers is extraordinary here. And I have to thank Governor Cuomo for his leadership in bringing together an extraordinary coalition united across every aspect of our state to fight for the millions of New Yorkers we all care about and we all represent. So many colleagues in government and, and there are in other rooms across the state, many more colleagues in government from every level. I thank you for being here, for joining us. Senator Benjamin, I just want to say, uh, I was in the state Senate and uh, I did paddle hard. Sometimes when I pulled my paddle out of the water, the end had been chewed off, but <laughs> it's, uh, it, it's, it's worth doing. So thank you, and thanks to our hosts again today, Ken Davis and our friends at Mount Sinai, a great New York institution, and the kind of institution we are fighting here to protect. It, it saves people's lives. It provides health care to tens of thousands. It teaches and trains people all over the world. It creates innovations that benefit millions. This is what we are fighting for. I want to thank all in labor. The New York State Nurses Association are here. Mario Salento. All of our brothers and sisters at 1199 SEIU have been fighting for a more fair health care system for as long as I can remember, and also the leaders of those who run our hospitals and manage our hospitals, the leaders of the Greater New York Hospital Association, the Hospital Association of New York State. This is indeed a broad coalition. And this is the coalition we need to defeat the assault on the working men and women of New York, which we face today. Business, government, labor, upstate and down, all of New York united to seek justice, to seek rights, to seek a humane, affordable health care system for all. Now, my brothers and sisters, I've developed a bit of a reputation since January as a guy who sues Donald Trump and the federal government. Always on the merits, and boy, have we got a lot of merits on our side. Now, my lawsuits against the administration and congressional Republican leadership have not won me a lot of fans in Washington. They're not my concern. They're not the concern of any of the public officials who are here with you today. You are our concern. <laughs> protecting health care, protecting health care institutions, protecting health care jobs is a fight we cannot afford to lose, and it is a fight we will win. Because the plan before us is not just about threatening to make insurance less affordable, it would gut funding for hospitals and for the people who make sure New York has some of the best health care in the world. We have built something wonderful. We will not let them destroy it. Fellow New Yorkers, for reasons that I honestly can't understand, there seem to be a lot of Republicans in Washington who are ready and eager to gut the Medicaid program and take away health care from tens of millions of Americans. More than two million New Yorkers would lose their health insurance under that provision if the bill before the Senate becomes law. Without a single vote, they would double the number of uninsured people in our state and understand who those people are. The people who would be devastated by this bill, two thirds of New York's nursing home residents rely on Medicaid. That's who they're targeting. Half of New Yorkers with disabilities rely on Medicaid, that's who they're targeting. 93,000 veterans, that's who they're targeting. We are not gonna let them destroy those people's lives. Now, as the governor, uh, an expert on um, uh, games of, of chance as well as games of skill pointed out, there is a, a ridiculous carve out that targets New York and only New York sponsored by two people who supposedly represent New Yorkers, representatives Faso and Collins, this provision would not just upend our system, as the governor pointed out, 
and uh, interfere with the way we allocate funds between county and state taxes. It actually would do that by cutting federal funding by $2.3 billion to force the state to change. That is right. These two congressmen would slash $2.3 billion in federal funding to New York, turning their backs on their constituents and our state in an attempt to score political points, suck up to their party voices in Washington. We are not going to let them do that and destroy that state. $2.3 billion, no way. And once again, the right wing wants to defund Planned Parenthood and roll back the clock on women's reproductive rights. Unconscionable. We are not going to let them do that, are we? Not in the state of New York. So let me be clear. Let me be clear, <clears throat> to the extent someone hasn't stepped on my punchline. Um, if this inhumane bill ever becomes law, I will go to court to challenge it. I will sue the Trump administration and their congressional allies. To protect New Yorkers, all of us together will bring every lever at our disposal because not only is this bill unconscionable, not only is this bill unjust, it is against the law. It is unconstitutional. And we intend to stop it in its tracks and prove that this is still a nation of the rule of law. This is still a nation where President Trump found out when he tried his unconstitutional immigration ban that even the president is not above the law. I am already leading a coalition of 16 attorneys general uh, intervening to protect Obamacare subsidies that help make coverage affordable for low-income New Yorkers. We're in court now supporting the constitutionality of those subsidies. These, this bill? Uh, not supportable, not constitutional. Defunding Planned Parenthood, unconstitutional. The cynical Faso Collins Amendment, unconstitutional. It is important to know that this bill is not only morally wrong, it's not only unconstitutional. Ladies and gentlemen, this is not even really a health care bill. This is not an agenda to improve health care. Here in New York, we've shown that Obamacare can work if you want to make it work, right? With the governor's leadership and the great leadership of our health commissioner and, and, and others, we have built one of the best health care exchanges in the country. Since 2013, we have cut our uninsured in half from 10% to 5% of our population. But as I say, the bill the Republicans are pushing is not about health care. It is about attacking poor and working people. It is about redistributing wealth from poor and working people who will have their health care cut, their expenses raised to the very wealthy who are not touched at all. In fact, some of them will have their taxes cut. So I truly believe that this wrong bill, this unconscionable bill, this unjust bill, this unconstitutional bill will not ultimately become law. I believe the coalition we've gathered here today and that the governor is going to be leading in the weeks ahead. And coalitions like this that will form and will look to New York and what we're doing by way of unity and leadership, we will stop this. Because right now, what's the result of this debate over health care? Obamacare more popular than ever. More Americans believe health care is a right, not a privilege than ever. So New Yorkers are getting loud about this. There have been die-ins on the steps of Brooklyn Borough Hall, vigils at Trump Tower, raucous protests in front of congressional offices. They want a fight? We'll give them a fight. Because we will always win when we fight for people's health, people's lives, and people's rights. This week, we continue to build what is gonna become a great American movement for justice and equality as people wake up to what this agenda is really about. And this week we begin the process of sending this disgusting, not anti-health care bill on a one-way trip to the trash heap of history. Fellow New Yorkers, <laughs> listen to your lawyer. Actually, in this case, listen to your doctors as well. Stay strong, hydrate, stay visible, Stay loud and keep your eye on the ball. They are, this is wrong. This is stupid. 
This is putting ideology ahead of evidence. It will always fail. It's up to us to see that it fails as soon as possible. Stay loud, stay visible. We will win this. Thank you very much. Please welcome.